Today we're going to address one of the common myths about Bobcad. Some people think the software has become more complex and difficult to use. Well, let's walk through programming a part using our two-axis toolpath features and see how easy it really is. But first we're going to right-click, choose two-axis, and select the geometry. Just by picking the surface, the system automatically understands the shape. If there are open edges, the software knows it can machine from the outside in. You can also control whether the inner loops are treated as islands or not. Next, we select the starting and end positions and repeat the process for the other surface. After we hit OK, we'll use Pocket and define the tool size. For this example, we're using advanced pocketing to take advantage of high-speed machining strategies. We'll set the step over to 0.25 and use advanced features like adaptive feed rates to adjust, depending on the material surrounding the tool. Now, let's compute the toolpath. The system processes it, and we're ready to copy and paste this same pocketing strategy to the inner geometry. Once again, I don't need to stretch or define every edge, just select the starting and end positions. Afterwards, simply recompute the toolpath, and there it is. Moving on to drilling. Simply right-click, select Hole Recognition, and let the system automatically detect and differentiate the hole types. It knows the size, position, whether it's a counterbore, blind, or through hole. I can adjust any parameters directly within the CAM interface, and when I'm ready, I recompute. We encountered a collision with the drilling operations, but no problem. We'll return to the drilling sequence and break the groups. After regrouping the holes, we switch the return positions to G99 for both operations, recompute, and now the collision is resolved. With a G-code generated, we're ready to go. As you can see, programming a part has never been easier.